Right, hello YouTube, and welcome to not Kerbal anymore. Uh, Kerbal is done, uh, but it's dead. On to our next uh, planned campaign. Welcome everyone back. Uh, in the case of those who seen the review, and according to the statistics, that's like a quarter of the views on my channel, if not a bit more. Uh, to From the Depths. Now we're going to have a crack at the campaign. It's a very noisy little craft down there. Uh, but I figured before we start that. Let's design our first ship. So we have a ship ready to go right at the start. Gonna pop straight into designer mode. So, I haven't played this game much for a while. Now, I have been doing a little bit of building recently to get back into it. I've got some little test vehicles that I've been working on. Uh, and I'm thinking our first ship will be something similar, but an improved version of this. This is a very basic little missile uh, corvette. Tiny little boat with a missile launcher, basically. Doesn't do anything too special, but it does work reasonably well. Yeah, I think a considerable amount of holes in the dust are there. We have a single turreted small missile launcher with fairly high velocity missiles. Uh, I believe they're using explosive warheads. Single little radar tracker for keeping track of targets, that's about it. The missiles can lock their own targets once they're pointed in roughly the right direction. Even the not very accurate um, 360 radar is still enough to point it in the right way. So, let's get to building. So, there's several things we'll need for a ship, but the first thing will be the hull. And we also have to decide what we want to make it out of. Now, metal, I believe, is, yeah, about five times as expensive as wood. So, we could have a fairly sizable hull and perhaps do it two blocks thick of wood and see how that goes for armor. Armor of eight, health of 864. Does metal have for a four meter beam armor 40 okay so the armor will actually be a lot better for metal so okay we'll maybe try metal then we're gonna make this a fairly small ship uh i am gonna try and make it look fairly i guess you'd say realistic i like uh when it comes to styling i'm very much a still striders fan so i'd like to make this look like a little boat that might feasibly work maybe a little um sort of coastal defense ship of some sort. Because we will try and put some style into the uh, vi uh, vehicles. For those who don't know what the game is, I recommend a review. As said, it seems to be by far the most popular thing on the channel. That's aside from the fact I like the game. That's one of the reasons I'm uh, doing this playthrough. Uh, From the Depth used to be my favorite game of all time. Uh, and it's still what I very much like, but it's not what I found myself playing too much recently, and that's again another reason, partly why I want to, I want to have a crack at this. Really, I want to get back into playing a little bit. I'm actually gonna change that. Let's have a consistent hole sweep. Yeah, we'll go for that. Square sides is maybe not the most realistic, but that's fine. It's not gonna be a huge ship, so it doesn't need to be hugely deep. We'll maybe try. I should try going quite flat with this one, profile-wise. I won't even go for that. What I'm thinking we'll do as well, because it's going to be early campaign, we're not going to have many resources. And fuel is obviously going to be something that we'll need to run some of our bigger ships. So what I'm thinking is, we'll maybe try and run this one off RTGs, which are infinite power generation, but they're not very strong. And we'll go for... Oh, I just realized I did this wrong. I should be doing um, slopes. And we'll try and use those. So they'll be a little bit more expensive initial build cost. But not so much because we use small ones that we can't afford it at all. And then we'll we'll save on not having to, to fuel it, basically, is what I'm thinking. Uh, so we'll go with that. That's our that's our kind of plan. The types of vessels I'd like to build. I kind of like the idea of maybe building some energy weapon focused stuff. I haven't done so much with that. But I have very much found that absolutely your best bet early on is usually missile weapons. So we're going to go for those for um, our main weaponry. Main hull costs not very much at the moment. It is going to cost a bit more to put these on. That's our generators. They will each provide... How much power was it? <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, 60 per second. Which is not very much, but it will be enough for what we're doing. We'll put a battery in. With an electric engine. Actually, let's just do... Let's keep this very flat. We'll keep it a super flat hull. Really low profile. Um, 
we have floating problems, we might have to work something out, but... How does it float at the moment? We'll put a lightweight wooden deck on top of this. Not too bad. If I actually put the deck on... Normally I would use armoured wooden decking, but again, for this case, because we're... It's quite a small craft. I don't want to make it too heavy, because sinking is still an issue we can have. Yeah, okay. That floats well enough, I would say. It's not ideal, and I might even have to make it a bit deeper or wider, but... Go with that for now. What we'll also do is take the deck off and float it for a moment. You can press caps lock to float the uh, craft, to make it easier to build. So, AI mainframe. Up there. We could even... I might even put it... Yeah, I might put it a bit close to the front of the craft, and then I'll... We'll put the, the local weapon controller under the deck, and we'll have a direct connection to the mainframe. Uh, we'll also have AI card slots. And we're only going to have two. We're going to have... Uh, target prioritization. Oh, so we can pick what targets we want it to fire at. And we'll set it to... We'll have this try and fire at the largest craft available. Or well, the most powerful engine-wise, anyway. That is presumably hitting the most dangerous thing first. And then we'll have a circling ship AI. Uh, and our combat distance could probably be fairly high, actually. That's probably okay. Um, and you set it to water. Yeah, it's on that automatically. I think it's done that all good. We'll add a your controller and we'll just very quickly... Uh, well, we'll maybe just even try it like that. In fact, it might be on, but I suppose it's probably on by default, isn't it? Uh, propellers. We do need to push us along through the water, after all. Now, we have, what, 260 generators? Is that right? Yeah, so we can run two propellers. It's a bit of a, it's a coastal torpedo boat type thing. Radar. Should be good. We'll do a quick test to make sure we can drive this thing. For larger builds, I may cut some of the footage, uh, but for smaller ones like this, I might as well do the whole thing, especially this early on. Resources are right. How are we for speed? Oh, it's because they're letting out the water. They're losing speed. Okay. That's more like it. Yeah, it's definitely sitting quite low in the water. Probably is a bit heavy. I don't want to make the hull too much larger, but what I could do is... I don't know, it's kind of working. Hmm. Could go for an alloy hull. Are they more expensive? No, alloy's the same cost. Okay. Maybe we'll go for alloy. It's cheaper. Cheaper than, um... Right, yeah, I forgot. It's a slightly awkward design. Oh. We're going to have to replace anyway, because I forgot about that. Well, maybe just make the bottom out of alloy. Bottom layer. Uh, right, no. Okay, that's three long. Okay. I don't know if there's a way to, to mass replace blocks, but I don't believe there is. Before long, yep. Yeah. What we'll try and do is we'll try and get this ship done in the first episode, and then we'll get into the campaign a bit, and I can show you what it's kind of all about. Because I did talk about it in the review, but I haven't actually shown it off. Uh, our goal in the series will be quite simple. It will be attempting to win the campaign on normal difficulty for now. I might try putting it up later, but if it's too easy or whatever, but... I haven't beaten it on any difficulty. So. Oh, 
Oh, well, it's definitely lighter. <coughs> okay, that seems to be sitting in the water a lot better now, anyway. Oh, yeah, is the AI going to take over? Yes, it is. Cool. Bet we have definitely made a speedboat. Right. Oh, the other thing we'll need for AI is... We'll just do two. I don't think we'll need more than that. Uh, general processing cards. So, you do have to have radar systems and things on your ships to actually detect targets. And they use processing power that your AI has to use. So, we will have a little bit on board just to make sure it can pick targets. We won't worry about shielding the AI on this craft. It's so small that it probably wouldn't save it anyway. We will build a little lightweight cabin on the back. See, we'll maybe do a sort of wedge cabin. By cabin, I mean at least a little protected seating area, I guess. We will want this to be uh, manually controllable, so. Fire control system behind us, so we can take control of the weapons if we need to. Yeah, we can't really see, but that's fine, so I'll be using the third-person view anyway. Yeah, we're going to keep this one pretty simple, but there is a few bits I'm going to add. We're going to add, on the back, a little, little bit of a mast. Lightweight truss mast. We don't need anything too heavy. And uh, what we'll have at the top is... We'll have an intra-vehicle transmitter so that other craft can, uh, I believe, talk to it. Uh, we will have a... not that. A 360 radar because we're going to have radar-guided weapons. Now we'll be able to pick up targets all around us. Oh, we will need a... We'll need a wireless receiver to talk to our uh, mother... Our mainframe. And I think that's all we we'll need for up here. But there is one thing I actually add as well. Uh, I'll move the, the wireless receiver to there. We'll actually... Oh, I'd like to have a... I'll put it on the back, I suppose. Oh, wait, I don't think you need that anymore. We'll also have a flag. Yep. Because, duh, look at it. Looks cool. Um, we'll have a single repair bot. I find a little bit uh, scattered when it as to how I'm doing this, but I'm just trying to remember where everything is. All the things I sort of need. Yeah, but we'll have two. They're a lot cheaper than I thought they'd be. We'll have two, two repair bots. So those allow our vehicle to self-repair a little bit. Uh, and a repair tentacle. Why not? Uh, on a, mm. No, we'll leave that maybe. Okay. And then... Uh, detection... AI. Yep. We'll have a strategic antenna. This will allow the craft to reveal some of the actual map. Because there is a there is a fog of war system. It's not going to be the most powerful antenna by any means, but that will give us some line of sight. So we can see a little bit around it, and then of course the last thing to do for this craft, really, the last main thing, is to give it a weapon. So we will take a two axis turret. And I can move both left and right and up and down. Extremely loud clicking noise. Um, and let's start building our missile launcher. So, it's going to be the same type as before. So, we'll have small launchers. We'll have maybe. Do you want a double stack, maybe? Yeah, double stack should be good. That should give us a good early damage output. Hatch gantries on the front. Uh, probably that way up, right? Probably done this the wrong way anyway, but... And on the back, we shall also add... Uh, a... Staggered fire. Which will set to... Yep, yeah, that should be fine. That will make it so our missiles don't launch all at once in one giant clump. 
which can cause issues. We are having a bit of a balance issue. Oh, we're also not watertight. Should have when this happened, but okay. We may have to add a bit of a keel. Uh, in which case, we might also have to change the hull a little bit in general, because that means it might not be big enough. <clears throat> uh, but we are also going to finish up the shape of the turret a little bit. Put some aloe plates on the side to give it some protection from incoming fire. Actually, what does the RA armor cost? Five. Mm, might be worth it, actually, given it's our main weapon. Yeah, okay. What's our cost at the moment? 1,500. Let's see how much this adds to the cost. Yeah, not much. Okay, yeah, we'll do. We'll use the RA armor to protect the uh, launcher. Or maybe replace those with the uh, side blocks. It should give us a good hit, uh, good protection for at least a hit on most angles on the launcher. We'll do the same at the back. We'll do yep and. That, and then we'll also do, for the sake of capping it off neatly. Yeah. Yeah, here, why not here as well? Get a little bit more protection from getting hit from the sides. That should protect against at least some glancing blows. Right. Then we'll also put a little bit of protection around the turret base itself. We'll make this some of the only heavy armor on the craft. Because it's a critical point. Should credit heavy is probably too big. We'll do metal. Do want, we don't want this thing to be too heavy. We want it like that so it can still pivot all the way. No ammo. Oh, right. Yes, of course, we're seeing the ammunition. And we'll also, yeah, we'll need to steady the craft because it's no longer stable. So I might rebuild the hull to be another block wider. Right. We will also need ammunition. This is also maybe another good reason to widen the craft a bit. Give us a bit more space. So, try not to make it too expensive. I reckon around 20k for our first craft should be, should be all right. Go block wider. That should work. Go there. Put these parts out. Side out. That aren't the armor block. Well, the block layout on this craft is a total mess, but we should be okay. Shouldn't be lightweight armor at the bottom either, because it's probably messing with the gravity a bit. But oh well. How about this? Oh, and also. Seal that up. That's that's fine then. And we want a that. How, do, how are we looking for floating now? Yeah, we might add a little bit of a lead keel. Uh, lead is relatively cheap, but it is very heavy. So, uh, oh, single keel down the center. Okay. Let's try taking it out for a spin, see how it works. We do need to put ammunition in it still. But the main thing is, it's no longer capsizing. I'm trying to capsize. Uh, 
resources. Two meter ammo box. Two of those in the middle, and we will armor around it. Still floating? Still floating, okay. That's it. Oh, some of them aren't connected. Okay. Take those off. Oh, it's probably because. Yeah, okay. Oh, actually, have I... yeah, have I really goofed up there? Are, they... Are these ones even connected? I have goofed up. Okay. That's fine. We'll launch a. Yeah, okay. Stack of fire right on. Uh, control. Where is controller? We'll do a. Where is it? My way alloy, three meter. Uh actually we want to do the we want to do the nice neat neat pattern, don't we? Yeah, what did we do before? Was it that? And then yeah, that and then I think the bit at the top. Eight panels. I do like these half uh half meter panels. Quite new, but a very welcome addition in my book. Right. 24 missiles now. Whoa. I see. Okay, so that makes me suspect that, yeah, as I was going to say, these missiles may not be quite set up correctly. We'll have a variable propeller. We will have three fins, or two fins. Two fuel tanks. These will be reasonably long range, actually, I think, for even for small missiles. Uh, what's their lifetime at the moment? Ten, yeah. We want to regulate it. We want it to last a bit longer than that. Okay, 20 second missiles. Variable thruster can go up to... We've only got a 20 second lifetime on the missile, so we can set our thrust duration down to 20 seconds and have a bit more thrust in general. Uh, I might even add a... We'll have a prediction guidance. And we will have a... Oh, one moment. Uh, sorry about that. The phone went right. Uh, yeah, actually, I think that should be probably what we need. Uh, next, we'll need some explosives because it is a missile after all. And why not? We'll have some fragments as well. We've got space. Now, I think these missiles will probably be quite vulnerable to interception because they're large. Although we could reinforce the top of it, I suppose. Yeah, we'll actually add a little bit of reinforcement in that case, and we'll add an active radar seeker. Uh, internal space use for fuel. No, we want internal space use for explosive. And... Yeah, copy to all matching watch pads. Let's see how we're looking now. Ah, looks a bit more like it. How is reloading? Oh, reloading is another thing we need to set. And we want the type of reload to be full servo. It will fire once the entire launcher is ready to fire. I think the reload time is going to be quite long. Oh no, not that bad. It's not going to be the cheapest... Uh, Ship to use. 322 materials a minute. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, okay. I think that's our craft about done in terms of build for function. Uh, we'll add some decorations. Let's have a little bit. Uh, let's have some railings around the outside. Some railings. Although the railings do sort of... Hmm, 
they start to clip through the front of the vessel, so maybe just have them around the rear of the ship, I suppose. And then anything else we can add that would look good? We don't really need a smokestack, given that our engine doesn't use them. Uh, we could have a spotlight, I suppose. Um, paint, definitely. Definitely something we ought to have. We definitely ought to actually test it quickly against something. Um, yeah, we'll do some paint. Yes, now you also get... Uh, oh, God, how do I change this? I'm trying to remember. Oh. Uh, you do also get, uh, like, fleet colours, where you can set, like, a colour that your entire fleet will use. What I don't know is how you do that anymore. You used to be able to change it from there. Options. Build options. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how you change the colours for those anymore. Colour detail. Hang on. Let's save it. We'll do... Uh, campaign. The 001 uh, patrol. I'm going to go to the menu in case it's from the menu that you do the fleet colours. Um, no, I think it's the same stuff, isn't it? Hmm. Why can you set your ship colours then? Maybe I'm missing something. Like a profile options? No, hang on. Oh, right click to edit. Okay, easy enough then. So, we will use my old colour scheme because I really like it. This is the music. Detail, secondary, main. A main colour. is a slightly pale blue. This new music, I like this. Leave the majority of the hull in this colour. But we'll leave the wooden deck wooden. Look at this music. How long has this been in the game for? Right. Uh, secondary. Gold. I have to try and remember how you make gold on this. <laughs> Shiny gold. Not very gold. I might have to tweak that a little bit, but... Let me know I've got the wrong uh, size pieces there. There we go. Our trim will be white. in the white as well, at least partly. Do that section in yellow. We will fiddle with that yellow in a sec. Just to get the blank colours in, and then the detail will be black. Put 
We probably won't have too much actually in black on this one. We might have a stripe down the middle. Yeah, okay. And then the let's take that gold quickly. That kind of works. Uh, but maybe even darker than that. Maybe perhaps I want to go the other way. 0.9 and 0.9. Yeah, I think it looks okay. Right. Save it. So, cool. We have a ship done, but we do want to quickly check, test it. Press X and you can pick things to spawn. Let's try a duster, for example. Not tremendous accuracy, but it got the hit. Hmm. I would like them to be able to hit most things, really. Uh, tell you what. We could definitely have a um, an extra fin, maybe at, maybe at the front, even. Let's try it again. So we use F11 to pause in the editor. Yes, that's what we're firing. <clears throat> yeah, they're following quite well. At least they're trying to. How much damage do we take? Oh, I knocked out the whole radar. Hmm. Oof, we took a big hit there. What happened, guys? They were still shooting at him, apparently. Yeah. We've got the repair uh, debug tools. Yeah, so as suspected, uh, durability, uh, no. Damage, yeah, pretty much. 16,000, what does a duster cost? 5,000, hmm. We're definitely at a loss at the moment, but then again, we should be able to strike from a long way off compared to a duster. We put one over here. We probably will be spawning in from a bit of a distance. Oh, yeah. And how about... We'll just do two tests. I don't want to do it too much. Uh, how about a Marauder over here? A full-on ship. We will have some larger ships, but I think for now we'll just stick to a little one. Oh, I think our missiles are actually... We're actually coming around to chase it. Sea skimming a bit too close to the sea, perhaps. Yeah, certainly good damage. <clears throat> Considering what we're shooting at is a lot bigger than ours. Why are you why are you falling over? Oh dear. Slightly reinforce the keel at the front. Do not want it flipping out of the water like that, so we'll, we'll just reinforce the keel a little bit. I'll let it move a little bit faster, if anything. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I think the patrol boat, patrol boat, patrol boat is ready. Right, so campaign mode. New campaign. Uh, I'll be okay. I might have to look some of those up later, but I should be okay. Right, we're gonna start with the basic campaign. The idea is effectively you are. You can read this if you like, but the idea is you are basically ex-pirate. Um. If your family sort of killed by pirates, you're like, well, guess I'm going to go beat them up. Uh, and take over the entire island. We'll do medium. Huh. That was a lot of stuff to change. Right. Ow, my God, that was loud. Right, we do start with a little bit of equipment. We have our starting base, for one thing. 
These lasers are drilling resources up off the seafloor. So we are, we do have a bit of an income over time. Uh, and I believe it also has a defensive cannon. Well, two defensive cannons. And a missile launcher, apparently. In fact, two missile launchers? Ah, yeah, we've got an anti-aircraft gun as well. Okay, so we have a few little defenses. We also have this. Well, we have this. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to do much for us, but we do have it. Right. How many resources do we have? Thirty thousand commodities. Is that how much we have as a maximum? They've apparently changed some stuff. Oh, we have some stunning vehicles as well, apparently. You have... 18, 20%. Okay, so I think the nearby is how much we have. If I had a... If I do resources and then a... God, where is it? Material storage. If I add on a container that can hold 54,000, does that increase it by that much? Oh, your empire has... Oh, 30,000 globally accessible commodities. All right. I see. I'm not sure what commodities are. Oh, dear. They may have changed something I'm not aware of. I'm not sure what a commodity is, but anyway. We're going to... I hope it's not too much of an issue, and we're going to start building our ship. Before 2.1. Oh, so maybe commodities is our resources? By the way. Yes, I do love the way you can truck vehicles. There are little repair tentacles putting it together. I believe we can set the tractor beam to to hold it. Will that do it? Ah, there we go. Yeah, we can have that hold it while it builds. Make sure it spawns in the right way up. So yes, construction facilities will be something we have to think about. I will, I will probably have to build an improved base at some point. I believe it used to work that you sort of mined. But I don't know quite how they... They may have changed a few more bits than I realised. I might be a bit out of date on the campaign mechanics. By the way, I know we can have two of these, so we'll build two. What I might also do is slightly improve our construction capabilities. We'll add on some more uh, repair systems. Yeah, just gonna build a double speed. Interesting that our commodities are not really going down, or is it the the nearby bit? I'm not really sure where our... For that matter, I'm not really sure where our main council meeting... Oh, alliances and wars, I see. Oh, I guess... Oh, that's our material. Okay, 29,500. Is it already paid for the uh, ship then? Global gift 10,000 into this. Oh, I see. So I can take them out of our global storage and put them into the, um, onto the, uh, thing itself. Put them all onto the container. I don't think we need them anywhere else at the moment. Right, so now we have two ships. We'll call the patrol. I think we can name the... Oh, well, there should be a fleet move, right? Hmm. Oh, we 
also do need to pick it up with the tractor beam. Oh, we're actually helping build it. Yeah, your your little character, the Rambot, does have um, construction uh, equipment on board. They can slowly repair things. You used to be able to level it up and unlock new things. I don't know whether you can anymore. That's where it used to be, the options anyway. We have all guns straight off the start, that's neat. Yes, you can also board ships. You can indeed be a pirate and actually uh, board AI ships and uh, steal them for yourselves if you can knock out the AI. Uh, it used to be kind of broken, if you could actually do it. I don't know about now, but... It did used to be a very easy way to get extra ships. But we have a little bit of map view now, thanks to those guys. What we'll probably do is we'll split the two patrol boats off into their own fleet and have them have a little bit of a look around. If I can remember how to do that. So, patrol. Uh, split into new fleet. Listening. Moving now. Let me set you into fleet move order. Oh. oh okay. Um. Met on the dawn of a new campaigning season. At this meeting, nations may offer you them, and it's all made to clear war on you. Oh my god. Blech. Oh, hate and love between nations. Oh, so you can see who likes each other and who doesn't. Okay. Zero commodities to spend. Oh. I see. Okay. You don't walk against the white flares. This option rewards you with a lot of resources. Okay. Join Deep Water Guard, white flares in the guard, walk against the lightning hoods. Join a whole but Oh my god, there's a lot of options here. Steel Striders in the Scarlet Dawn against the white flares, grey talons, and lightning hoods. No. No, I don't want to do that. Join the Onyx watching the Twin Guard in the war against nearly everybody for no resources. What? Why? No. Oh my god. Oh, minimap, I see. Oh, dear. Right, okay. Join the Onyx watching the White Flares in the war against the Deepwater Garden and the Lightning Hoods. I guess that's probably our best bet. I guess we'll have to go with that. Okay. We're finding the Deep... We're finding the, um... Player, war with deep water garden lightning hoods. Okay, so we're fighting the pirates and the speedy boys. Oh, Moving out. we're oh. no. Receiving. Patrol. Moving out. Moving out. Receiving. Patrol ship ship its own thing. So, uh, fleet name. Oh, patrol. Fleet. Oh, one. And control fleet number two. Oh, so I guess this is where our enemies think. Okay, oh, Craig. So we're starting next to the lightning hoods this time, I guess. Okay. Okay. I think that also means that there is a moving out, moving out. ship on the way, so it might actually send both to moving here. Out. I think our home is trying to move as well. That should just stay where it is. Oh, right, and that one can't move because it's still being tractor beamed. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, now we're giving it orders and it's in fleet move. It's actually setting off. Listening. Form up and fly with fleet. Hey, there they go. How fast are they? 14 meters a second. Not. Terribly slow, but not fast, really, either. Right, now, I believe... Receiving. Uh, 
Now, ah, pull, oh, there we go. Now we can speed things up a bit. Yeah, so the game only actually loads in vehicles and things as they're kind of needed. So, so when you're doing map movement, you pull them out. What we'll do, we'll save the, we'll save up here. I think it's about the right time for an episode. And when we come back, we'll hopefully get into our first fight because I think this means that the, the lightning hoods, which I believe are here, uh, although it could be the deep water guard, I don't know. Um, but I believe. That means they are trying to capture the area, and that means they'll have ships in the area, so we'll have something to fight, and we'll give it a try. We have actually quite a lot of money now, so we could also build some more ships. I That's actually something that caught me off guard a bit. I guess the campaign's happy with you building big stuff earlier on. So yeah, yeah, that's what they look like once they're out of play. Yeah, the starting fortress should not be moving. moving now. Uh, neither should you. Now. Yep, <laughs> there it goes, drifting back. Yep, yeah, right. So yes, I was going, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, us putting our first ship together and getting a sort of brief overview of what the game's like at this point, because again, apparently stuff has changed. I'll see you guys all again next time. Bye-bye.